the underwater propellers in motion, the pirate ship plunged into the ocean. Diving deep, I heard the sound of a bunch of whales swimming around. <laughs> I asked, could one of you maybe tell me directions to the nearest underwater city? One whale winked at me and started to swim down deeper, and I followed him. And there it was, the underwater city. It was really, really pretty. There were all <laughs> sorts of types of towers, and I could stare at them for hours. The tallest ones were made out of crystal. Others were stone, like the pyramid temple. Under the water, they shine so bright. The crystals shining an amazing light. My nanobots let me breathe okay. But this city took my breath away. The galactic pirate ship, almost there. We better find a place to park somewhere. The sign said, free parking lot. And so I took the ship down and found a spot. I locked up the ship and swam out to see the beauty of this underwater city. Well, I started to get lost in such a sight. But then I remembered about that satellite and how it was really my only lead. The Temple of Ascension is where I need to find my way to because I see that I am actually probably inside of virtual reality still. And so I thought about all of this until I saw the sea snail who was trying to yell. But I could only tell it was about his shell that this big whale was towing away. I felt sorry for the snail, <laughs> but I couldn't stay. I had to swim to the shell before it was gone. I grabbed it with my hands and I tightly held on. I knew that this whale was probably going to a tow yard where they do all the towing. And so I held on as tight as I could because this whale could swim really good. And I saw some more people as we swam by and I wished that I had more time to say hi. But it was too late as we headed straight towards this chain link fencing gate that opened up into the tow yard, even though swimming over it wouldn't be hard. I knew the <laughs> probably didn't want me inside, so I climbed into the giant snail shell to hide. And then I heard a whale, I think say hello, to another whale, but I don't really know. This type of dialect with which he spoke must be more familiar to underwater folk. And then I heard a whale, I think say goodbye, so I thought it would be a good time to try. Looking out and seeing if I just might be able to find that satellite. I didn't see the whales anywhere, but the golden satellite, it was right there. I plugged my USB stick in and I started to search for the info, but then the satellite changed shape. His arms all grew really long like an octopus and started to smash everything all around. Cars and seashells into the ground. I heard a whale warn me about this harm. I barely escaped an octopus's arm, swam far enough away that I didn't get hit by an arm and die. The whales you could hear still were screaming. The tow yard being smashed was the reason. Deadly arms steadily spinning, pulling me towards its mouth. I see grinning, making waves under the sea. This monstrosity coming after me. But the way he could catch me was moving so slow. But then he started to go faster though when I got hit by an arm really hard, knocking me all the way out of the tow yard. I should have known that this was a trap. On the ocean floor, I think I'll take a nap. But then I was told by this whale that I should grab on to his tail. I didn't know where and I didn't know when, but I managed to grab on to there and then. Holding on to the whale, I looked back to find the satellite octopus right behind!